Hello and welcome back to White Collar Woker. So what are we talking about today? We are talking about why governments seem to absolutely love the idea of the Green Revolution. Why do governments seem to absolutely love this idea? And I will give you one reason, it's debt. How do we deal with the huge amount of debt that we have in, the, in Western Europe, uh, in the US, in Japan, even in China? Um, I'm going to include a link to a bit of research by one of my favourite economists, Russell Napier, um, who writes a sort of quarterly investment advice, and he has a chart on there that shows the debt to GDP ratio of a lot of the large companies. Uh, France is approaching, I mean, it, it, it says on there around 350 and at the time of this recording, 400% debt to GDP. The UK is around 280, approaching 300%. If you include private debt, everyone is looking at the public debt figure, but they're not including private debt. Now, how do you get rid of the debt? One is debt jubilee, which is what Biden is going to do with some of the student loan. It's in his manifesto. The Italian government is asking for the ECB to forgive some of the government debt. That's one way. Forgive the debt. The other way is to inflate it away. Now, how would a government inflate the debt away? Because as soon as interest rates rise, people will then take their money out of um, bonds, uh, bond investments. Everyone has got bonds at the moment because the rate of inflation is at 0.23% you know, in the UK, but bond yields are, are, are negative. How, if, if, the, if the yield became negative, people would take their money out of the cash and out of bonds and they'd invest into equity. So how's the government gonna force people into keeping their money in bonds, which are gonna lose them money? Ah, this is what they're gonna do. They're gonna say that in order to make sure that we can overcome this horror that is global warming, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take control of your money. Now, don't worry, it's for the good of the planet. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the insurance companies, the big banks, the people who manage your pension, we're going to say to them, right, we're the government and we're going to tell you that 10% of your money has to be in government bonds towards um, windmills um, and solar panels, 10% has to be towards infrastructure investments, another 10% has to be towards um, upgrading the housing stock. They are going to take control of what the banks, the investment companies and your pension regulators, they're going to take control and it's called financial repression. It's already happened before, it happened after World War II when it was deregulated in the 1980s. What they're going to and, and the European Central Bank did it with Greece when Greece went through a sovereign debt crisis. What they said was that, OK, Greek pensioners, you have to buy 50 percent of Greek bonds. Everyone has to put their money into Greek bonds. Then what did they do? They wiped it out. That's what the European Central Bank did to Greece. They said everyone must put all the money into Greek bonds backed by which is issued by the government, and then we'll wipe them out. And that's how we get rid of your debt. We wipe out the savers. And it's a massive shift of money from savers to, debt to debtors, um, to, um, from creditors to debtors. And what, they, what the, the government has gained so much power over the last nine months, they have forced... Um, commercial banks to lend out money 100% backed by the government. It's not backed by the Bank of England. Uh, central bank's power has been taken away by the government. Do you think the government's going to give back that power? They're not. They're not going to give back that power. They're going to... Imagine if the economy is a horseman or horse lady and you've got six horses in front of you. The horses in front of you are the banks, HSBC, Aviva, Scottish Mortgage, um, uh, you know, uh, maybe Scottish Mortgage, the investment companies. And the government used to have the central bank as this person sitting on the, the coach with lines that it could control, which is interest rates and uh, other means. It didn't work. 
what the government has done is they've just gone, screw that. They've got on the horse and they've said, right, you, we're going to back you 100% and you're going to issue these bounce back loans. They're not going to get off the horse. They're going to stay on the horse and they're going to tell the banks, the, uh, you know, asset managers and the, and, the, and the pension management companies and the insurance companies, they're going to tell them what to do with your money. Anyway, White Collar Woker, please like and subscribe and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.